Welcome, and follow me to Dodgy X97 Pro, and today I will show you how we can go through the setup of this phone. When you boot it up for the very first time, you'll be presented with this screen right over here, which allows you to select your desired language from the list. I'll be selecting English, which was already actually selected. From there, we can tap on the start. This will allow us or take us to the next page, which allows us to insert a SIM card. Now, truth be told, you can insert a SIM card at any point throughout the setup process. Uh, the reason it's showing up right here right now is because uh, next step is also Wi-Fi connection. And if you choose to skip both of them, uh, then date and time will not be set automatically, which will then allow you to set it up. And also Google login page will not show up throughout the setup process. Anyway, I'll be skipping both of them, so you'll kind of see what I mean. So there's the Wi-Fi. Obviously, you can connect to it if you want to, but I don't want to, so continue without it. And there's the date and time. Now, if you connect to any kind of network, either through a SIM card or Wi-Fi, uh, this page will not show up at all. Now, moving on to the next page, we have location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data, which are just some, uh, let's call it services from Google. Uh, service of uh, data gathering all your stuff. So obviously if you don't want them, you can turn them off. Uh, keep in mind that some uh, applications that require scanning or like location, stuff like that. So use location. Uh, if you turn that off, uh, then some apps will just simply not want to work without the location being enabled and it will tell you that you need to turn it on uh, to actually use an app. Now to name apps that tend to do this, those are usually the smart home apps which for love of effing god why do you need location for a smart home? You're already connected to the damn Wi-Fi. There is no reason for you to know where I'm located at right now. So uh, yeah. Obviously you can turn it off and also, just kind of gauge out what apps want your location access whenever they ask you for it because it's off. It's uh, quite surprising how many of them need it. Now moving down, can select accept and this will take us to just setting up a screen lock. Now by default it opt into four digit pin right away, but you can select right here screen lock options and choose either pattern or password as additional options. And obviously, if you don't want to protect your device whatsoever, you can select skip right over here. I'm gonna select a pattern. Select next, repeat it, confirm. So now I have a pattern set up. And it looks like this actually finishes up the setup. So there we go. So anyway, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.